Hello again, I'm just a guy who loves making props and stuff. And in this video build, I'm making the dragon eggs from Game of Thrones. For this build, I started by finding some good reference pictures online. To kind of get the sense of what I was trying to build. From there I made some quick sketches, before moving on to see if I could find some 3D files online to build from. And as luck would have it, I actually found something that looked really close to what I wanted. And using Mesh Mixer, I erased some of the shells and smoothed out the bottom surface before printing out three pieces. It was all printed in ordinary PLA. The different colors is just because I used some leftover filaments. The next step was to give them a more organic look, and to add the texture and shape I was looking for. So using some plain air drying clay, some water, and a few different stencils, I molded the top and the bottom parts to try and copy the reference pictures. The sides of all the eggs also got some clay which I smoothed out pretty good, just to make sure the shells wouldn't look uniformed in shape. I've tested out this technique several times now, and because of the print lines, it sticks on really good, and stays on without any preparations. Using a stencil, I applied some more textures to the bottom parts. Now you don't have to be super accurate with this part, because there is going to be some more work with this post-curing. Being satisfied with the look so far, I left it to dry overnight. It's actually all it needs to completely cure and become rock hard. From that point on, I used some other techniques to get a more accurate look for the textures. You can basically use any tool you want for this part, or better yet, a Dremel rotary tool to speed up the process. Next I brushed on some mud podge to get rid of the last print lines. This is a simple and easy technique I use to save some time on sanding, and it's cheap. Naturally, I only recommend it on props you want to look organic. And then I gave them a coat of primer, before they were all finally ready for some paint. For the paint job, I started by giving them a base layer of the correct color. I decided to go with acrylic paints, simply brushed on. I guess airbrushing would have gone a lot quicker, but I was afraid it would look too clean. So I guess for the paint style I was looking for, the weathering would be more than your usual weathering, but more like a part of the actual paint job. Or something in between, if that makes any sense. I watered down some dark earthy colors, and started with the one I considered to be the most difficult. Then wiping off the paint again, I was mindful to leave an uneven layer of paint behind. Then I gave it a touch with my heat gun, to make it cure, before repeating the process again. It came out looking better than I expected, so I was really pleased with the results so far. I gave the other two dragon eggs the same paint job. They ended up becoming a bit dark, so I used some oil colors to bring back some lights and better shadows again. I finished off the dragon eggs by giving them a coat of semi-gloss varnish, before moving on to the rest of the prop build. A big part of this prop build was always going to be the presentation of the dragon eggs. So instead of putting all the eggs in a basket, I designed a small chest with close to the perfect measurements to best display the dragon eggs. Now, I'm not the best with carpentry work, but luckily I have a stepfather who is multi-talented, and he built this chest for me in the workshop in one afternoon. I tried to get some video footage of him building it, but he just kept throwing stuff at me. I think it's safe to say, 
we don't like being in front of the camera. Somehow, I got to take some footage of him while wrapping the wooden chest in some worn down really good looking leather. And after measuring out the leather pieces, they were attached using some contact cement. And after a lot of pulling and pressing, he came out looking amazing. I painted the inside of the chest, before I started working on the frame that would hold up the dragon eggs. And using a really sharp box cutter and some EVA foam, I cut out the pieces I had measured up and then glued them all together using some more contact cement. It was a simple frame and more than solid enough for its use. I didn't bother to paint it, since it was going to be covered in fabric anyways. Once I was sure everything fit the way it was supposed to, I cut off the excess fabric and hot glued it in place along all the edges. It was a perfectly snug fit, so now I could move on to the last piece of the puzzle, the sigil. I wanted a Targaryen sigil on top of the chest, and again, I was lucky enough to find it on Thingiverse. And of course, I've put a link down in the description to both 3D files I've used from these talented 3D artists. It was printed at 0.2mm using ABS filament, just so that I could save some time by doing some acetone paper instead. It would have taken me hours to sand all those small details. I painted on a black base coat before I brushed on some gold wax paint. And then I glued the sigil to the chest before I did the final piece of weathering with some oil colors. And that was the final piece of work I did on this prop. And that was it for this video build. I hope you liked it. If so, just hit the subscribe button and don't forget the bell. And I will try and share my next build with you. Thanks for watching.